Greetings everyone, DVDV here with a, another Xbox One gameplay video for Xbox One Month. And today I'm taking a look at Steel Rain X. Let's begin. No, actually, no, it's good options. Game. Account. Normal mode. What? Easy mode. Hardcore. No, normal mode. High damage. No. You're at the, um, <laughs> the options of these Xbox One games have been very underwhelming. Controls. Here we go. Fire is A. Oh, is it not RT? Come on. Find A and then change formation. C, A, B. I don't understand. Item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4. I don't understand. I do not understand. Ugh. Now, oh, what was that? Oh, colorblind mode. Ah, that's quite useful if you are colorblind. I'm serious, not being sarcastic. If you're colorblind, turn it on. It will aid you. Peggle was the same. It had a colorblind uh, mode. Let us begin. We left Earth to find a new home. They called it a fresh start, as if our survival was certain. Three, three frigates were sent to an unknown destination with all that was left after disease. An overpopulation was exha had exhausted almost all resources on Earth. Our journey to seek out and colonize a habitable planet. Barely three months after spending our journey, uh, beginning our journey, we had our first contact with the Xenox. What? An artificial intelligence you can't read this text anyway. I can't even read to begin with. An artificial intelligence whose purpose is to conquer other planets that put captured civilizations and force them into slavery. The Xenox first strike destroyed two of our fragments. We, the 12846 passengers uh, of the remaining fragate, the Citadel, survived because of the heroic maneuver of the fragate Federal, which disabled our attackers. Three years have passed since then. We managed to hide in a nearby asteroid field and recover the debris of the Xenox Hunter ships. Since then, our scientists have been desperately trying to understand the Xenox technology to be able to defend ourselves from future attacks. An increased amount of riots due to the hopeless situation and foreseeable lack of food have led to the, the, the death of several, several crew members. With all hope near, nearly lost, rumors of a breakthrough from our scientists began to spread like wildfire through the Citadel. They said we finally had a weapon to repel the Xenox. Our desperation turned into euphoria. For the last time, humanity will display its full potential. Our engineers had, find the, had found the key to adapt Xenox technology, and finally our crew was introduced to Project Steel Rain. The Xenox ship core can produce a nearly unlimited amount of power. A modified core is carried by two heavily armored manned winged ships, which transfer the core power directly into the weapon system. Close to completion the Steel Rain Close to completion of Steel Rain, rather, we received an emergency signal from a nearby planet, in Gaia Prime. Yeah, Gaia Prime, that should be. Uh, we were there any survivors from the lost frigates? No, of course not. Everyone is dead. The time has come to confront the Xenox fleet of Gaia Prime. Hey, and it didn't even let me read all the text. Ugh. Uh, you didn't follow that, did you? Well, so did I. I didn't follow it at all. Anyway, campaign, arcade, survival, let's just go campaign, get on with it, and continue. Turn up. Welcome to the Hangar. I am Estelle. I am your personal assistant. Will you help me read, please? From here, you can reach all areas of the Citadel. Select missions now and it's changed to the planet view. Fine. Here you can select planets and missions, change difficulty, or start random orbit patrol missions. Choose one of the beginner tutorials, or switch right to the next planet to start a mission. You can restart all tutorials at any time. Higher difficulties in the hardcore modes. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Select Gaia from the skip to tutorials. 
I think I'll go tutorial one in the very least. See what it's about. Move. We can use the right trigger. Hooray! You can use the right trigger. Brilliant. Both fire. Fair enough. Get all of Fire modes change formation during gameplay to maximize evasion and damage. Change formations by pressing the left stick or use XYB. I will stick to that one. Weight formation A. Defense medium. Weapons high speed projectiles. Extra highest frame rate and widest range. Advantage good balance for most situations. Weakness. Enemy missiles and mines. Information B. Oh, get on with it. Arm penetration. Limited boat speed. And C is that one. Defense weak. Weapons short pulse laser. Item attractor. Heat seeking missiles. Advantage multiple targets and rear fire. Weaknesses attack range and incoming bullets. Yeah. Can I stick to this one, please? Thank you. You can collect parts of destroyed enemy system to gain uh, EXP. Best and temporary weapon boosts. Permanent upgrades are available. Yeah, I'm already regretting taking the tutorials. Not gonna lie about it. Yeah, kill combos. Fair enough. Fine. Steel mode. Collect or buy S to activate the steel mode for total invulnerability. Why do you keep disappearing on me, dear? Use and hold to destroy as many enemies and bullets as possible by collisions, okay? Fair enough. Now what? Quick bar slot, then upgrades. Three slots during battle, by repair kits. Fair enough. Overload, battery cause an explosion. Nearby enemies, fair enough. What was that? Oh, that's the end. Fair enough, good. Good. Right. Fine, let's just start the game. Ah. On easy click, yeah, good. Fire, attack. It's a shooter. Yay! I like a good shooter. We've seen a couple of these on this month. Skyforce Anniversary, we saw um, Raiden V. So, yeah. This is my kind of game. I dig these games. Already, I'm standing. I'm standing here an hour. Now we're talking. I am digging this. So far, this is more like it. This is my game. I do enjoy a nice shoot em up, so. Already, we could be best friends, Steel Rain X. Already. Fire mode, please. Thank you. Energy. Oh god. 
Oh, Davy! Must you hit every single bullet coming towards you? Somebody will no doubt make a comment on that there, so I might as well do it here and now. Must I hit every bullet coming towards me? Davy is supposed to avoid the bullets. Oh. And that was the end of the level. Rank A. I'll take that. Given I hit every bullet that came towards me. Fair enough. Run. Let's do one two then. Gaia Prom, stage one, two, ready? No. Fine, let's do it. You know, funny, I used not to be a fan of these games. I remember playing, what game was it? I think it was the first Capcom Collections game on the uh, PS2, which I really want to do a video of those at some point. Um, there's Capcom games, there's Midway games, there's Taito games. I really want to do them sometime, but I don't know how I'm going to do them. Do I do all of them in one video, or do I do them in multiple parts, or do I do each game separately? I don't know. But I really want to do those games at some point. Uh, it was the first Capcom uh, collections game on the PS2 that had 1942, 1943, it had Vulgus, I think, um, X-Eyes, I believe. All these tune-ups, and I wasn't interested was not one bit interested in them. I didn't dig it. Then, I can't remember what shoot of it was that really got me into the, uh, the genre. It might have been uh, a Taito shoot up It might have been a game on main, like an obscure Japanese shoot up called uh, Dao. I think that's what you call it. Which I think is called, I think it's translated Great King. It might even have been Nostradamus by face, believe it or not. But there was one of those shoot on main that I got hooked on, and all of a sudden I was playing every single shoot up on main, including 1942, including 1943, including Vulgus. And I remember he's not. Not to like X eyes. I like X eyes. And another one, Exevius, I believe it's called. Even Xevious by Namco. Everybody, sh everybody I know shits on that game. I love Xevious. So shut your fucking mouth. Xevious is an awesome game. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's on the Taito Legends game. It has a funny name. Xevious, I think, or something like that. I love that game. So, yes, I used not to get into the shooting of genre, but now I'm very much into the shooting of genre, or shmup as we call it. And everybody shits in the genre because, oh, they all look the same. So, what? So, what? If they all play the same, then great, because then it means I can get into them. Back to this game, back to Steel Rain X, and yeah, it's a shoot em up. There's nothing else you can say about it, it is just a shoot em up, and yeah, I dig these games, so I am enjoying this so far. This is my kind of game. say the batteries were about to die, but no, they're not, they're being halfway. On close inspection, they're halfway, so the batteries will hold out. I did record another video before this one. So I'm doing that thing again, recording multiple videos in the one battery's lifespan. And whereas I didn't, I haven't got away with it. Um, on board on one occasion during the special. I think on this occasion, I'm gonna get away with it. Those, those were coins, baby, you didn't collect them. Right. 
I wanted to collect those coins, but it wouldn't let me. Rank A. I don't think I got hit as much in that level, but then again, half the time I wasn't paying attention. I was just too focused on what I was doing. Right, drones are very powerful helpers in battle. You can now build a drone uh, in the upgrade area in exchange for collected resources. Each drone's power and abilities can be greatly increased by research skills and upgrades. Drones can also be controlled in co-op mode by a second pilot, while it's only one of me, dear, so tough. So, can we go upgrade or what? Upgrades, here you go. Drones. They want me to do a drone? Fine, we will do a drone. Here you can build new upgrades, wings and drones for your core. When a planet is cleared, we start to collect Zen... I don't even know how you pronounce it. Is it Xenox? Zeno? I really don't know how you pronounce that. Xenos? Parts um, from destroyed enemies to create new upgrade blueprints. Clear plants and destroy unknown enemies to unlock more upgrade blueprints. Right. So, pet bot. Armed constructor, new drone pet, permanent upgrade. You won't have read that. It is very tiny after all. Fine. Yes, I'm sure. Installed. There you go. So, there you go. You can also call license skills. Don't have a clue. Let's just go 1 3 and then maybe end the video. Because the batteries aren't halfway after all. But yeah, so far this is pretty good. This is this is my game after all. If this is not your cup of tea, you would not get into this here. Or if you're one of those that feel every shoot up is identical to one another and thus you turn up your nose to it, then you will turn up your nose to it. You will. You'll think, oh, it's just one of them. A bit like how I feel with text adventures. There were so many text adventures released um, back in the day. And, oh my god, Davy, he's hitting you. He's killing you. Dude. Oh no. There you go. And I never got into a text adventure. Never. But shoot ups my kind of game. Oh, Davey. I am s oh man. Oh god. I am sucking. It's those lasers. Repair kit, but oh, I was gonna say I have a repair kit, but I don't even know how to use it. Nope, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to end it there on defeat. I'm going to end it there on failure. I'm going to end it there on humiliation. Because, yeah, why do the whole thing works through? Well, I mean, she's out in about five minutes, so... Nope, that will do. As a punishment to myself, I will end the video there and then. Uh, well, I buy a drone and look what happened. Thank you, drone. I will blame that on my newly purchased pro, or drone, rather. Who was obviously prone to taking down to make me look like a fool. Yeah, I wasted my money again. Uh, anyway, there it is. Steve Rain X on Xbox One. I was liking it until that happened. Um, no, it's my kind of game. It's a shooter. So, yeah. Of course it's going to meet my tastes. But I'm just worried now if it's going to be more difficult than I desire to be. Maybe I should stick to easy mode. Yes, that'll be it. Take the easy mode and then maybe I'll breeze through it because at the end of the day, achievements are there to be earned. So if I can get it in easy mode, I will. Hooray for me. But yeah, it's a shoot -em up. So if this is your kind of game, then go for it. I got this on a sale, so I can't tell you for sure how, um, how much it costs uh, full price. I imagine it's not that expensive. Digital games do tend to go a lot cheaper than uh, physical games. But, yeah, it's my kind of game, so I'm going to dig it. Anyway, I don't have to clear up this mess before Wifey gets home. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon with more videos for Xbox One Month. Until then, goodbye for now.